Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com So I'm making another video on how to install ROM for the AT&T Galaxy S2 um, because the clockwork buttons might be slightly different um, but this should work easily um, So to install new ROMs, go copy over the ROM zip file um, For Cyanogen Mod 7.1 ROM, you'll also need to copy over the Google Apps um, So copy those files over Most ROMs just one file or if you want to flash kernels too, copy the uh, kernel zip file also. Um, so what you're going to do is hold down the, the volume up and volume down and then hit the power button, all three buttons together and wait like five seconds until your phone resets and into clockwork mod recovery. And make sure USB uh, isn't connected because that will put you in download mode instead. So after this logo, you should come up to the uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery like shown here. And from here, uh, what we're going to do is uh, you're going to use the volume buttons to um, go back and forth, up and down. And uh, you can use the home button or depending on which Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, you have, you might have to use the power button to select or the home button. Okay, It's one of the two. And also the back button um, will go back. Um, also you can do this on any Galaxy S2 just the selection buttons might be different so let's go to wipe data factory reset alright and say yes oh you know what I was supposed to back it up <laughs> ah great oh well um, and then um, you can go to backup and store it and choose backup. Um, go to install zip from SD card, hit the home button, choose zip from SD card, hit the home button, and choose the ROM uh, that you're trying to install. In this example, I'm installing the Perception ROM for the uh, SGH i777 or the AT&T Galaxy S2. Hit the home button or the power button, depends on what um, your clockwork mod recovery you're using. Say yes, select that, <coughs> and that will install the ROM, and when it's done, you simply reboot, and uh, you should have a new ROM running, and uh, if you want to, this is going to erase all your settings and uh, apps, so if you want to get those apps and settings back, you can uh, back them up in Titanium Backup app you can get free off the market and I highly recommend you get the pro version it's like three bucks or four bucks uh, which allows you to restore in just one click or one touch so I'll be back when this ROM is complete and uh, we'll have a new ROM here hi all folks so if everything went well you'll get this uh, install from SD card is complete and you can hit the back button and then reboot system now now, if for some reason you, it doesn't reboot, then go back into Clockwork Bar Recovery and choose Wipe Cache Partition and uh, hit the home button. This is basically a cache partition. Sometimes it goes funky and it'll end you up in a boot loop, but it doesn't do anything if you erase it and format it. That's why I just formatted it. But you don't have to do that, but you can do that, you know, just if you feel paranoid. And then reboot system now. And uh, it should reboot into the new uh, Perception ROM. Um, and I have more, I have, I think, one more ROM review coming for this phone. And I'm going to start <coughs> moving on to other ROMs. There's a new ROM on the other Galaxy S2, the Epic Touch, um, Epic 4G Touch Viper ROM, <coughs> which, uh, which looks pretty good. Um, so I'm looking forward to that and also I'm, I might start making my own ROMs whenever I get some time here, but I'm so busy um, I've made up some kernels, but something I already know how to do ROMs. I, I don't know how oh, but there here it is Here's the uh, the Galaxy S2 animation. This one's off the vibrant The original Galaxy. Well, actually, you know what? No, it's, it says S2 so <coughs> But it looks similar the actual animation is similar or same. So that's cool. This is the Perception ROM. Um, I'll have a full review of this too. It's uh, it's got a bunch of stuff. It's uh, 
Yeah, I'll be, I'll be back when this fully boots. So it did boot up. Um, you'll used to get this uh, startup screen again. So let me go sign in and I'll be back. So if it booted fine and you're getting signal and uh, just double check everything working. That's how you install a new ROM. Um, you can also use Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, Restore and Backup feature to back up uh, several different ROMs and switch them on the go. Um, that's what I do. Maybe I'll have another video on that. But that's how you install a new ROM using a uh, using Clockwork Mod Recovery. And also, if you need to flash Google Apps or another kernel, you flash the ROM first, installs it from SD card, and then flash the ROM, and then keep doing it uh, with the Google Apps and also the kernel. Um, or you can do it after installing the ROM, go back into Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, install the kernel zip file just the way you did it with the ROM or the Google Apps. So that's how you do it. Thanks, y'all, and subscribe.